Hi guys! Um, this is going to be a video lesson for the song uh, I'm Yours by Jason Mraz uh, on the ukulele. This is my first ukulele video that I've done. Um, or that I've, yeah, that I'm going to do. So, uh, hopefully the first of many. So, uh, this is sort of like just like if you're starting out on the ukulele, like you've never really picked it up before and you just kind of want a nice little song that you want to strum around, to, you know, and uh, something that's really sort of simple, nothing crazy, just four chords. Um, I believe the actual song is in a higher, it's in a different key, um, but because this is sort of going to be more oriented towards uh, beginners on the ukulele, uh, we're going to uh, be transposing the song into the key of C major so that we can kind of have these sort of nice sort of open easy chords, you know, sort of basic chords for trying to, you know, start up on the ukulele. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing, because obviously I'm mostly a guitar player, is a lot of these chords, you don't, it's not like on a guitar, where on a guitar there's six strings, right? One thing that's kind of cool is there's four on the ukulele. And how's it tuned again? It's, uh, that's, that's a G. And then that's higher than, and then this is a C. Yeah, it goes G, C, E, and then A. And I think that's interesting. Is that G right there, if we were kind of going from like the, the lowest sounding note to the highest sounding note, it actually goes our third string, the C, then our E, then that fourth string, that higher G note, and then our A. So that's kind of kind of cool. So you've got this sort of that's sort of the standard tuning for a ukulele. Um, and the other thing too is that on a guitar, because there's six strings, you're going to be a lot of the times when you're playing certain chords, you're going to want to try and refrain from hitting certain strings. So for example, let's say you're playing like uh, a D major chord, you'd usually only want to hit like the the four highest strings, uh, and you would want to refrain from strumming the fifth string, the, the A string, and the low E string. Um, but on the ukulele, I'm finding that there's, it's not as big of an issue. I think there, there's some little things that I've seen here and there where they say, oh, okay, you know, some some chords where you're not supposed to hit certain strings, but for a lot of the chords, you have kind of free reign to just, just whack away at all four, right? L much less than on the guitar. So that's kind of nice, and I think that's one thing that kind of makes the ukulele uh, a bit more of an accessible instrument than uh, uh, the guitar, at least, you know, for those who are starting right off. Um, anyways, in terms of the song, why don't we kind of get into it? So we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to need four chords to play this song. Uh, a reminder that chords are just groups of notes that we're playing all together at once, whereas, like, for example, this is just a C note. That's a single note. When you play it together with a bunch of other notes, you strum, now it's a C major chord. And that's actually going to be our first chord in the song, is a C major chord. To play that, you're going to want to, I like to use my ring finger right here. Uh, you know, sometimes I use my pinky, but usually I use my ring finger right here. And I'm going to place it on the third fret, so one, two, three, third fret of that, that high A string, that first string. So you got that sound right there, that's where you're going to place that ring finger. And what you're going to do is you don't, you're not just pushing down with your finger, you're also using your thumb, or you might be using your thumb or sort of the this sort of part of your hand right here to kind of put some counter pressure against it. So you're kind of, you're, you're not so much you're pressing, you're, you're pinching mostly. And then you strum all four. Those other three strings are open. And that's your C. Cool. That's chord number one. Chord number two that we're gonna need is a G major chord. Now for those of you who play guitar, um, the G major chord actually looks exactly like the sort of position for a D major chord on the guitar. But when you play that sort of shape here, it's a G major chord. Why is that? Just because of the way the tuning is. There's no, you know, just the way she goes. Uh, so to do that, though, for those who this is new to them, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put your middle finger right here on that second fret of that high A, that first string, 
you're going to put your index right here. You're going to jump over that that um, that E string. You're going to place it on that the second fret of the C string. That's what it is. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out a song there. Sorry. Anyways, um, it's a Beatles song. But anyways, uh, so. You're going to place that index on the second fret of the C string, the third string, and you're going to place your middle finger on the second fret of the uh, high A string or that first string. And then with that ring finger, you're going to put that ring finger on the third fret of the second string or that E string. So that's what it would sound like all together. And your, your fingers are gonna kinda of look like that sort of shape. And then you strum all four. That's your G. And then you got, you got that G, that high G note on that fourth string ringing out. Cool, that's your G. The next chord is A minor. A minor, that's, honestly that G is probably gonna be your hardest one. That's the hardest chord probably in the entire song. So if you can get that one down, pff, smooth sailing for the rest of it. Um, to play an A minor, you're going to take your middle finger here. You're going to place it on the second fret of that fourth string or that G string at the, at the, at the you know, that high one right there. That right there, and you're just going to play the other three strings open. Awesome. That's A minor. That's it. Just putting that middle finger right there on the second fret of the fourth string. Um, then what you're going to do is with your index, so that's, sorry, that's A minor, and now to play F major, all you got to do from that A minor is you keep the middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and then with that index, you're going to put it on the, you're going to place it on the first fret of the second string, or that uh, E string. So first fret of the second string, that high first string is open. First fret second string, that third string is just open. And you got your middle finger there on that second fret of the fourth string. And you kept them there because you were playing A minor. And then all you do is you just place your index down and then you got that F major. There you go, A minor, F major. And those are your four chords. C major, G major, A minor, F major. Cool, awesome. Now, what I would suggest is sort of taking a second, if you're totally new to this, take a second, get those chords down, just kind of practice switching between them so you feel really comfortable with those chords. And then what we can start doing, and maybe for now, just while you're practicing, just doing a really simple strumming pattern, maybe just going like, like, you know, maybe like one, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Something really simple like that. That'd be a great way just to start off, right? Just to get moving between those chords. Once you start feeling a lot more comfortable, with moving between those chords and keeping a really simple strumming pattern, like every, you know, like one, two, three, four, you know, like hitting on the second and the fourth beat. Um, then what you can do is you can maybe kind of spice up that strumming pattern and actually get a little bit more of that ukulele sort of sound. So what I do for this song is I do this sort of... And what I'm doing there... If I were to really slow it down, or what I'm doing there is I'm going, if we were to count in beats like one, two, three, four, and the up and down what I'm doing is, let's say, let's just do it on the C. Let's practice on the C, just because that's a nice easy one, just to get the strumming pattern. What we're going to do is the strumming pattern goes like this. It goes down, down, up, down, up. And what I'm doing for my downs, I'm just strumming with my nails like this, and then for the ups, I'm kind of hitting up with my thumb. 
and I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And if in terms of counting the beat, I always do my downs on sort of like one, two, three, four, and I do my upstrokes on the like and 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 the sort of and the in between the one, two, three, four. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I were to just like count the beat while doing my strumming pattern, it would be like this. It'd be like one, two, and four, and 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 just like that. So we actually were silent on the three, right? Like one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and we don't play on the three, right? I kind of keep my hand, I keep that machine sort of going there, but I'm going. Just so it's in position, I bring it down to kind of keep that beat, but then it's in position, so then I can easily hit up with my thumb, get that upstroke, that and four and. So when you play it all together, a one full sort of uh, one bar in the song will be just one go of down, down, up, down, up. That's one bar. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing two bars per chord. So if we start off on our C, we're going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then we switch to G. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Then we go to that A minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Then F major. You go back to that C and repeat the same thing. So, chord progression is C, G major, A minor, F major, and what you're gonna do is for each chord, you're gonna do two goes of the down, down, up, down, up, or one, two, and four, and. Two goes per chord, and you literally just, and then you can start speeding it up, right? that for the entire song. And that's it. And like I said, if you're still kind of like, you know, just trying to build up that sort of strumming thing, you're just kind of worried about the chords for now, totally cool to just for now, just kind of go, you know, follow along with the, or you could just follow along. Um, or oh, keep in mind, the song is in a different key, so it's going to sound different. But, you know, you could just kind of practice moving between those chords, going one, or, you know, it'd be like one, two, or sorry, I'm screwing up here. Uh, it'd be like one, two, three, four, 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 or something like that. Something real nice and simple just to get moving between the chords, right? And still kind of keeping. A common rhythm or a common beat throughout the song. You could totally do something like that just to build it up. Um, besides that, I think we'll probably end it there for today. Um, yeah, the ukulele is a lot of fun, so uh, happy playing, and I'll uh, see you all next time.